I'm Rena Aiken. I'm CEO running a local citizens advice charity here in the UK. A year ago, uh, my husband got rushed into hospital and what with what ended up to be a burst appendix. It was touch and go for him while I was in the hospital with him, you know, realizing the severity of the situation, it made me realize that what my true values are is to spend time with him, you know, not to be, you know, working so hard all the time and to have the freedom just to kind of go, okay, let's just hang out together, go away together, uh, no matter what happens, because life is short, precious, and time with our loved ones, you know, it doesn't last forever. It kind of brings that home. You kind of think, oh yeah, next year, next year, I'll have time for that. But uh, I realized that I was in quite a vulnerable position. You know, I knew I had um, enough cash to live on for, you know, maybe a year and that was it, you know, and, and, and nothing else. And that would be, you know, my all my savings gone. For me, it was like, okay, I need to turn my life around right now. I need to get to grips with the money stuff. I need to create freedom so I can spend it you know, with, you know, my, my beloved, even though I was so stressed sitting in the hospital bed, you know, holding his hand, I just thought this is something I need to do and I need to do now and I need to find the time for. So I, you know, signed up for FFU because I thought I, I need to turn this around. I need to become empowered. I need to develop this freedom now. <laughs> Life is too short. I'm not going to wait another year to do it. Um, and it really just helped me to know, actually, there there is another way I don't know how to do it myself. Just got my phone out and, and signed up um, there and then in, in the hospital saying, I have to do this, this is so important. I need to change my life. The first thing was, was building the foundations and seeing, looking at my income and expenditure. When I looked at my, my spending in detail um, through the income and expenditure tools, I could see that I was uh, had more of a break-even pattern and that I wasn't putting money away uh, regularly into savings and investing. Didn't have any investments, so you know that was that was a big part. I still do my monthly money dates, so where I look at my income and my outgoings, and so that became a new habit for me to really become conscious and to to see where I'm getting value from my money and where I'm not. So that was really empowering for me, and that alone, you know, has saved me so much. One of my biggest goals for the course was to really learn how to understand how to do, you know, passive investments through the uh, index trackers. It was completely outside of my identity. Really, it was something I just thought that's for other people, um, and I had no idea um, how it worked at all. So it was something I just never even really considered because I thought it would be risky or I'd have to have so much more expertise to even engage with it. It's amazing, you know, because my the savings were sitting there earning no interest. Um, and even with the volatility in the stock market, I've still made a lot more return on my money. And just feeling confident that, okay, I can do this, you know, I can engage them. Uh, understanding it and recently I've been um, sharing it with my husband as well as in the same so I sat sat with him and showed him how to do and um, you know what I learned how to do and he was so grateful I feel I felt like I was you know passing it on you know paying it forward probably within three to four months I made back um, what I'd invested in FFU uh, and I think if I include the savings that I got just from looking at my I expenditure and income probably even less than that as well as you know grown my actual balance sheet and I love the um, the simplicity of the descriptions and the diagrams that are in Financial Freedom University because they just make it very clear and very visual of the directions of the money flow and I really appreciate that simplicity and how it just makes it really clear passive investing in stocks and shares it is a whole other language it is you know a new jargon and I really had to work through the barrier of, I don't understand this, this is a new language. Then after a while you start to go, oh yeah, I understand what that jargon means and I start to feel empowered by that rather than overwhelmed. The Facebook community is an absolutely amazing place. Uh, it's somewhere where you can say, oh, I'm feeling scared about this uh, and people will jump in and say, you know, me too, but this is how I got through it or just offer a bit of emotional support. A place to share your successes and that say, yeah, I did this this month and people will encourage you. And that's really motivating to keep going as well um, and also if I've got any questions um, you know you're on there answering questions but also other people who are a little bit ahead and have learned something they're also on there answering questions and people are so generous generous and giving it's it's an amazing community and I just really resonate 
with the people that are in there. I just feel like they're the kind of people I would hang out with, my kind of people. Uh, and that really helps as well, because we're just, you know, we're all in it together. A lot of us, you know, have, have got quite, you know, um, ethical values or living consciously. So that feels like there's a real resonance between people coming together, um, people who want to make a difference in the world, but really need to get to grips with their money stuff. I really see that this getting conscious people getting to grips with their money stuff to what we need to do it's really important uh, and so being able to be together in a community of people who I resonate with who are on that journey it just accelerates it all for for all of us so. you know for myself and so many others people who, who really want to make a difference and want to give we over give uh, and we deplete ourselves but to to really be sustainable in in giving our gifts and making a difference in the world we need to to learn how to create that financial base and that um you know economic base that we can really give and support others and make a bigger difference and it's not um, it's not an either or it's not you know either money or you know spirituality and consciousness you can actually engage with all of that become empowered become grounded um, and and give from a deeper place a more sustainable place learn i never imagined that it would become you know a whole friendship a whole new community um and also you know teaching other people you know i'm passing it on uh, my my deputy at work i've also given her a copy of the wealth chef book and she's taken it to a whole new level now as well and i know she influences so many people because she's amazing we've set up a whole at money management program at work so we can reach out to people who are really struggling you know with debt or on very very low incomes even if they're not in debt and so we do our money matters program for for the you know people in our local community and um, we've just started um doing sessions in a local hospice you know we do it in a library and um, we go to you know elderly people's clubs and stuff like that so we you know we're uh, really reaching out to people. It's amazing um, how it does ripple out. There's something in Financial Freedom University that says pay yourself first. It's about putting yourself first, about putting your own oxygen mask on first before you take care of others. And I think for people um, like me who actually care about others and care about the world and want to give, we need to look after ourselves so we can actually give more. Um, and I think Financial Freedom University was a thing that helped me um, s break the cycle of getting burnt out from overgiving all the time. It is about money, but it's about so much more than money. It really is about learning how to support ourselves so we can give from a place of true abundance. Financial Freedom University gives you the practical skills of managing your money and there's so many tools and strategies in there as well. It, it looks at you know the, the deeper beliefs as well and there's so much support to actually implement those strategies. I've done lots of online courses and sometimes I don't always engage with them or finish them or see it through but I think the strength and heart of the community that is there really kind of pulls me through and Wilson's energy is just amazing. I absolutely love it. She's incredibly positive um, and bubbly and fun and accepting there's just no judgment there an amazing role model um, for all of us so you know between between Anne the course that she's created and the community you really can't go wrong it's just fantastic so definitely recommend it to anyone it will change your life